Hey you guys, it's Emily, and today we're going to be talking about some items that I've been loving recently. So I've been wanting to film a current favorites video for the longest time. I think I've had a list running of items that I wanted to share with you guys for like at least two months. So now I finally took the time to film this video and I am so excited to present to you all of these items because they are honestly things that I've been absolutely loving. I've been either like wearing them every day or using them on a day-to-day -day basis. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it and once again I feel like I have a very wide variety of items I have fashion random stuff we also have books of course and some beauty slash skincare items so let's start with fashion because I don't know I've been really loving these items specifically lately I don't know what it is about me anyway the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is actually these workout leggings they are from the brand 90 degree by reflex and you guys I started going to the gym last month uh, I've been going pretty consistently and I just needed some workout clothes because I didn't really have any and I discovered these leggings that I bought over at Winners or Marshalls I think it was Winners and you guys these feel like they are a second skin like I don't feel like I'm wearing anything they don't go down they're high-waisted they're super comfortable and stretchy and I'm obsessed with them second item is also a pair of pants but these are the pixie pants by Old Navy I feel like it's really hard to show you guys but I started a new job uh, the last few months you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while and I just needed to have like some business casual clothes and I found these pants at Old Navy for me it was a new discovery and these pixie pants are just the best like these are uh, the navy pair that I bought and they're ankle length I really love the ankle length for spring summer I feel like it's perfect and they're so comfortable they still feel like they're dressy even though like they're really comfortable and they have so many patterns I own like three or four pairs at this point I've been wearing them non-stop and they aren't that expensive so I really love that about it and yeah I will definitely be buying some more because I just I love these so much I don't know how I could have survived if it wasn't for these pants because yeah I just I struggled a lot with finding good pants for work and these are perfect. The next item will not be a surprise because I've been legit wearing it in like every single one of my videos and that's this boohoo sweatshirt crew neck thing and it says New York on it and it's like this I guess like super dark green. It is the most comfortable thing I own like no doubts. I love this shirt so much that I went back and bought like three more. Um, not the same design but like the same brand like from boohoo. I don't know why I didn't know that this existed before but like now I'm obsessed I need to wear this like all the time it's so comfortable I just I love it it's so damn soft I kind of want to put it on right now but we're not gonna do that the last fashion item is actually a jean jacket I don't even know how to show you guys and I really have been loving it especially like in the colder days of spring we haven't been getting that much like warm weather so far it's about to change but I was wearing this non-stop to go to work and just like on a day-to-day -day basis I just really love the style of it it's super comfortable like it's not you don't feel like you're wearing a big chunky jacket like it's really supple I've been wearing it so much that like I'm sure my colleagues are like okay we get it you have a jean jacket now let's talk beauty slash skincare the first item is actually more of like a hygiene item but it's this shampoo it's the red can color extend magnetics sulfate free shampoo and you guys okay I've been struggling with my hair a lot uh, these past few weeks I don't know why but I would wash it one day and the next day it would already be greasy and I never really struggled with that before and I switched to this because I couldn't find my regular shampoo and I was like maybe it's because I need to switch things up and as soon as I started using this my hair got back into its regular shape meaning that I could go days without having to wash it I think it's all due to this and I am completely obsessed I've been really loving this and it's made such a big difference in my hair I think it's a sulfate free part that really like changed things up for me it changed the game now let's talk skincare I feel like I haven't changed my skincare routine that much since I did my last favorites video but I did change a few items in my skincare routine and incorporated new steps the first product that I wanted to share with you guys is this Palmer's coconut water facial moisturizer I got this uh, for free actually I was sent this by the influencer collective for a campaign that I was doing with them and at first I was a bit weirded out by this product because the texture is really really weird I don't even know if you guys can tell but it's really smushy and turns out this is actually like really incredible <laughs> it's made such a big difference in the hydration levels of my skin I put this on at night and my skin feels so soft when I wake up in the morning I am absolutely in love with this product and um, the only thing though is the scent the coconut scent is very strong so if you do not like coconut 
coconut be aware that it smells like coconut like a lot like at first it was a bit overwhelming now I'm used to it if you don't like coconut scented products you will not like this but personally I absolutely love it it's a new favorite of mine the next product that I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually a serum and I've been trying to step up my serum game I know that there is like so many benefits to using serums and I got this one from Glossier it's the super bounce hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 serum and I just fell in love with this product like so much I wasn't sure if I actually needed to have something like this before but I've heard so many great things about hyaluronic acid and this has made such a big difference in my skincare routine I use this at night with my Palmer's um, moisturizer and it really pairs well with the moisturizer it really absorbs all of the moisture I guess from the moisturizer like all the great benefits from the moisturizer it really makes a difference I feel in my skincare and I really love using it as a whole and the packaging is also really really cute I just feel like my skin has been extra glowy and good looking lately so I just I've been really loving this product the last beauty product that I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually an eye cream and I know like for me eye creams are kind of this thing that I don't know like I know I should be using them but I don't really know what they do I never really seen that big of a difference when I was using eye creams but this one you guys it is a life savior like literally and that is the origins eye doctor moisture care for skin around eyes it is absolutely amazing I had this big rash on my eyelids a while back I don't know what caused it I just know that I suddenly woke up one day and I feel like you guys might have seen it in one of my vlogs but I woke up one day and like my eyelids were super irritated the skin was feeling super tight I had like dry patches on my eyelids and I didn't know what was causing it and like I was using eye creams to try to to really treat it but they were burning so bad and I started using this like maybe a week or two ago and my rash has cleared up if you have sensitive eyes I feel like you will really love this it's really rich and it really moisturizes your eyes I feel like I've seen such a big difference from using this twice a day and I have been loving it I love origins and this product does not disappoint now let's talk random items so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is my airpods that I got for Christmas now I know that not everyone can get a pair of airpods and I know that they're really expensive and they aren't necessarily like a necessity but I feel like I've upped my game so much with my airpods I feel so much more productive when I have them on I feel like they're so practical like when I'm going to the gym I've been loving these when I go to the gym I've also really been loving listening to like podcasts on my commute and like audiobooks and just music in general and I feel like these have really changed things for me the only thing is that you have to charge them every once in a while so like sometimes I'll be listening to music or whatever and they'll die and I'll be like oh crap I need to charge them but it's kind of like with a phone you have to charge it the second thing is a pair of glasses and they are actually my blue light glasses that I got from Amazon at first when I got these I was like okay this is not doing anything but I spend like at least 35 hours a week in front of a screen because of my job when I'm not wearing these I see such a difference I feel like I my eyes are straining when I'm not wearing these at work and they've been like a game changer for me I've been loving these so much take care of your eyes guys now let's talk entertainment and other random things so uh, let's talk books because this is a bookish channel and there are quite a few books that I've been loving recently I feel like June for me has been a really great reading month and you'll see that in my reading wrap-up but there are two books specifically that I wanted to talk to you guys about and the first one is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren now guys if you've seen my vlog where I read this you know how much I loved it but this book is following our main character Olive and Olive has a twin sister who is getting married and everyone at that reception ends up getting super sick like food poisoning sick and so Olive's twin sister cannot go on her honeymoon so she tells Olive to take the honeymoon but the thing is Olive cannot go alone because this is a honeymoon so like she has to go with someone and the only other person who did not get sick at the wedding is the groom's brother and Olive really hates him and they hate each other but still they want this vacation so they go together and they have to pretend to be like married and it's just so great they're at this resort in Hawaii and I'm just like this was amazing this is fake dating this is enemies to lovers this is super funny and I just I cannot recommend this enough I loved it so much it is probably like the best romance novel that I've read so far this year and I don't say this lightly I feel like Christina Lauren's past couple of novels have been really like amazing and this one is probably my favorite they have ever written so far highly recommend this is a perfect beachy read so read this this summer it's amazing I love it the next book is also kind of a similar vibe and it is fake it till you break it by Jen P and Guyan if you've seen my last reading vlog you know that I was reading this and I just fell in love with it we are following our two main characters Mia and Jake and their moms have 
have always wanted them to be together. They're always pushing them to do stuff together even though they don't like each other. They really do not like one another. So Mia and Jake get really sick of this and they decided to pretend to be dating so that their moms will get off their backs and then they will stage this great breakup so that, you know, their moms will stop telling them that they should be together because they are a disaster together. But turns out that they might not hate each other as much as they thought they would. I'm not telling you guys much more, but this is amazing. Once again, fake dating, enemies to lovers, and we have an Asian main character. Do I need to say more? This book is amazing. I don't understand how there's not more people talking about it. It deserves more hype, honestly. The banter is amazing. If you're looking for like a YA version of The Hun Honeymooners where there's no vacation going on, this is it. Like, I really liked it and would highly recommend. The next thing is book related, but it's not a book. It's kind of weird. I don't even know where to place this, but it is a bookish thing, but it's also very random. And that thing is a book sleeve. So I got this one off of Indigo Chapters and I always carry a book in my bag and sometimes my books, especially my paperbacks, would get kind of roughed up when I leave them in my bag because I carry a bunch of different things. And so I decided to get one of these, give it a try, and I've been really loving these. This is so helpful. This is super practical. You can just throw any book in there. Like I can fit Gemini in here and Gemini is like a big break. So I can if I can fit Gemini in this, I can fit basically anything. And I know there's other companies that are doing this, like book sleeves like this, but I just got around to it. And I love this design specifically because this is me, okay? She's wearing a top knot. She has like a book that says just one more chapter and like it's pink. What else? Like this is an accurate representation of me. I mean, have you seen this? <laughs> this is me. Now let's talk podcasts because as I've mentioned earlier on, I've been really on the podcast grind, especially since I got this new job. And I don't know what it is, but since I have a long commute, I've been struggling to find ways to stay entertained, I guess. And I discovered podcasts and now I'm obsessed. There's three specific podcasts that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And uh, the first one is Self Made CEO with Adrian Finch. And if you guys are at all interested in business, I highly recommend this. This podcast. Adrienne is a YouTuber that I followed way before she started her podcast. Now that she started this, I love her even more. She's super quirky and fun, but her business advice is so spot on and so great. So many amazing tips. I really recommend it. And it's one of the only podcasts where I'm like actually looking forward to the next episode. The second podcast that I also really been loving lately is also business related, but this one is about influencer marketing. And I feel like this is perfect because I love this stuff and it's my job. And that's Swipe Up with Catherine over at slightly savvy. Now I've been following Catherine for a while actually, like since I started blogging basically. And this podcast is so great. She started it in 2018, I believe. And now she has like so many episodes and she's been interviewing influencers to talk about their business. Catherine is also working in PR, so she knows her stuff. If you're interested in influencer marketing, this is the perfect podcast for you. This is my favorite one that I've been listening to. If you aren't interested in the first two podcasts because you don't really care about business stuff and you're looking for a more like lifestyle one, this podcast is probably going to be more for you. And this is I Love You So Much with Kenzie Elizabeth. Kenzie is a YouTuber that I've been following for a while. I really love her. I think I've mentioned her on my channels a couple of times before, but I really love her vibe. She's super productive. Like her life is kind of crazy. When I look at her, I'm like, can I be you? Because you're super productive. I'm like, this podcast is great because it's chit chatty. It's like lifestyle, but also I always feel like I'm learning something and I love podcasts that make me feel like I'm growing. Like they make me a better person. They just make me a better version of myself in a way. Like they make me more productive. And I feel like Kenzie's podcast is really good for the soul. Her advice is always super spot on. She's very relatable, even though her life is kind of crazy. And I just really love her as a person. And her podcast is great. She talks about a variety of topics like health and fitness, her favorite products, boys and dating advice, productivity tips. She talks about so many things, so I'm sure that whatever you like, she talks about it. So if you're looking for a new podcast, I highly recommend this one. And the last category that I wanted to talk about today is YouTube. As you guys know, I'm kind of obsessed with YouTube. I am a YouTuber myself, but there are two channels or one is more like a, a trend and the second one is a channel that I wanted to talk about specifically. And the first one is ASMR videos. And now, I know some of you guys don't like ASMR and that is fine. It's not for everyone, but ever since I've started watching Melanie over at Melody Any, she's like obsessed with that. And she's been doing ASMR in some of her videos. And at first I thought it was weird. I was like, I don't get it. But the more I watched her videos, the more interested in ASMR I became. 
and now I'm the kind of person who watches ASMR videos before she goes to bed at night like I kind of need it now to go to bed and I feel like it's a great way for me like to clear my thoughts before I go to bed because I'm the kind of person who will toss in bed I just overthink before I go to bed at night and I feel like ASMR is a great way for me to like relax clear my thoughts and just get ready to go to sleep there's one ASMR artists that I've been really liking and like I watch all of her videos and that's Josie B ASMR. Josie is such a sweet and kind person. I just love her personality and she's super soothing and I just I love watching her videos before I go to bed at night and like I'm actually looking forward to her videos. She's one of the few ASM artists who I'm actually subscribed to and like looking forward to her videos so I highly recommend checking her out if you're at all interested in ASMR. The second YouTuber is a booktuber and Okay, I feel like she already knows that I'm obsessed with her. That's Rachel Murray Book Junkie. I've been obsessed with Rachel lately. I don't know what it is about me. Like, I was subscribed to Rachel for almost a year now. And I've always loved her videos. But lately, I've been kind of obsessed. I took a mini break from BookTube um, a while ago because I was just feeling overwhelmed with it. And I was just not watching a lot of creators. But then I, like caught up on Rachel's videos and I was like oh my god I was missing out <laughs> so I've been like watching her videos non-stop and she's so amazing she gives such great recommendations our reading vlogs are the best and her reviews are always super in-depth and thoughtful she's really great I highly recommend her and I feel like she's also super consistent like she has a kind of life that I wish I could lead like she has a job like a full-time job and she has a life outside of booktube and yet she manages to create so much content and I'm like how? Teach me your ways. She's amazing and I highly recommend her. Go check her out if you haven't already. I'll leave the link in the description box because she deserves more subscribers. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you've been loving this month. Could be a song, a product, a book, a movie, whatever. I'm looking forward to reading your recommendations. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I guess that's it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!